All right. So, uh, hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, uh, short uh, introduction or orientation on mentorship and bootcamp. All right. So, I think there are still uh, students from outside the PhD degree. Unless you are from B Tech, uh, please uh, drop off the call and join with your original PhD degree ID. Okay. All right. I see some students. You can drop off and then come back with your original PhD degree ID. Okay, anyway, so I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just start uh, this session. So basically, the idea of this session is to give you an understanding of what, uh, uh, what kind of services we have uh, for the term to help you with the projects, right? So this is specifically uh, for those students who are doing the or planning to do the MAD1 or MAD2 project in this term. All right. Okay, so we are uh, having things like mentorship and online boot camp. Just give me a minute. Okay, so uh, so currently this video will not be uh, streaming on YouTube, but uh, we are recording it. So I'll give you the recording. The recording will be shared with everyone. Okay. All right. But I hope uh, I mean I I expect everyone who have joined to be here because uh, probably in the recorded session we may not be able to clear your queries, but in in this kind of session where you can unmute your answer, we should be able to create. Uh, you know, we should be able to answer to your queries. Right. So that is the thing. And uh, uh, if at all you have any doubt, you can just raise your hand and then ask. Okay, we'll take that part in the later half. Uh, so the first part, I'll try to introduce what these mentorship and bootcamp is, right? So, uh, so for example, you have taken the project uh, in this term. Let's say it can be MAT1 or it can be MAT2 or it can be both, right? And you need some assistance to, uh, I mean, at this point, you don't know what exactly we need to do the, with the project. Uh, how we are going to, you know, go with the project, what exactly is the question statement. Uh, there are some queries regarding the question statement. All these things are doubt, initial doubt that you might have. Right. Later on, when you start working on the project, there will be queries or things like, I mean, you are getting stuck somewhere or uh, you are, you know, getting a lot of errors. You are not able to debug what exactly is happening, right? So in that case, we kind of want to provide you assistance and we want to let you know that, okay, those things will definitely come in uh, when you do the project development, right? And you don't have to really panic. You can have assistance from our end uh, that will help you to do the project. All right. So for that, we have two major things. That is the one-to-one -one mentorship and uh, online bootcamp. All right. Now, what are these? Okay, so I'll just share my screen and then give you the brief of what I'm trying to say. Give me a minute, I'm sharing my screen. Oh, yeah, there's, uh, are these, uh, uh, like, is this recorded? Yeah, this is being recorded. Uh, would it be shared in the Google Calendar? Yeah, yeah, we'll share. Because I have another class concurrently right now. Yeah, yeah, right. So uh, I, we are recording it and we'll be sharing the recording. Okay, thanks. So I hope my screen is shared. Somebody to admit. Raise hand, okay. I just need to admit uh, one student, I guess. Okay, anyways. All right, so I hope you can see this screen. I'll just zoom in. Okay, for now you can lower your hands. Once we finish, uh, once I finish speaking about what I wanted to say, then I'll ask you to raise your hand and then we'll go to the doubts one by one. Okay, just listen to things carefully. I'll try to clear as many doubts as I can from the this set of uh, you know sheets only. But if still there are doubts, you can raise your hands later. All right. So let's talk about what one-to-one -one mentorship for application development is. 
All right. So it is basically a personalized guidance and support in the application development project. Right. So as I mentioned, uh, when you are doing the project, there can be various things that will kind of come in your project development process. For example, uh, you don't understand certain things in the question statement. You don't understand how to go about the project. You don't understand how to integrate multiple components of the project and get things working. Uh, you know how things work, but then there are so many errors that are coming up. How do you debug those errors? Right. So all these things are there, which will come into development process, which are eminent, right? You cannot stop them. Doesn't matter how good, how well you are following the live sessions. There are certain things that will be missed anyway, and then there will be problems, right? And obviously you cannot share your code in personal forums, like live sessions. You cannot share your code on discourse. So how do you get rid of these problems, right? So this is where one-to-one -one mentorship comes into picture, wherein you will be given a five hours of total support for the term. Okay, so I mean, five hours, I'll just uh, explain what this means, right? So for example, I want to, you know, create multiple things into my project. I want to create one feature and I want to create another feature. Now, while having these two features together, having trying to integrate these two features together, what is happening? I'm coming across a lot of errors, all right? Now, some of these errors can be as trivial as, you know, some import error or some you know, syntax error. So this can be trivial errors, but there are literally some errors that might take some time for you and some uh, somebody else to, you know, have a look at it, right? So, I mean, to get it. So you might want some per some other person to look at your code and see what where things are going wrong, right? So what you do, you will be provided a vet mentor wherein you can join with that mentor. I mean, set up a me meeting with that mentor on one-to-one -one basis, okay? you will be joining in with that mentor just as we have joined in a gmit right now since this will be one to one you only you will be present into that meet along with the mentor and then you should be able to share uh, the screen right just the way i am sharing now right so when you share the screen you can exactly pinpoint okay this is where i'm uh, my error is right this is what i'm trying to do okay so sharing the screen will allow you to explain the problem very easily to the mentor and this will help mentor to understand what the issue is and then give you the solution for that right okay so this is what we are trying to do uh, with one-to-one -one mentorship okay now how what is this what does this five hours mean right so for example if the doubt is let's say uh, you're joining in the meet uh, it is very similar to what do you call as a talk time when you recharge right so let's say if i do a recharge of 100 rupees let's say i got a talk time of 100 minutes what i'll do i'll you know i can talk for the other person for 100 minutes right if i let's say talk for 20 minutes what will happen 20 minutes of that 100 minutes will be deducted very similar to that this is five hours of support right so obviously i mean when you look at five hours it might sound a bit little it bit a bit less right but when you actually go it through go go towards it throughout the term you will see that okay some meetings like uh, take 15 minutes some of the gmail call takes 30 minutes some might take even 10 minutes or 5 minutes right so when you calculate all those things you will see that okay at the end of the day you are quite done with the project and you still have some you know time left okay so this is kind of a support that we are providing through one to one mentorship every time you want a session with the mentor you connect with the mentor and then you get them what exactly is your issue uh, where exactly is the error coming or if, in case you want some suggestion let's say i want to add a new feature but i have no idea how to go about it right so you can then join in the meet set up a meeting with the mentor get their timing and then uh, you should be able to explain them what exactly you're trying to do okay now there is one thing one uh, you know one catch here uh, one to one mentorships are not supposed to be you know mentor teaching you a topic right we have given you sufficient or we will be given for the new registration uh, registrations we will be giving you su sufficient sessions or sufficient content in the form of resources live sessions open sessions uh, you know project sessions so you don't need to you know get extra session from mentors to understand a topic okay this is something that a student has to do right you for example if you are working on let's say controllers of flask if you are working on let's say database models you should understand what models are. You should understand what controllers are. It is only when you are getting stuck at integrating models and controllers with respect to your project. This is where the mentors will come in. This is where mentors will pitch in and help you. Right. So it is the mentorship is not, uh, you know, getting it's like not for teaching purpose. Right. So you don't you cannot ask mentors to teach you certain topic. You can discuss with them. These are the queries that I have. 
these are the errors that i'm facing and then clear those errors right so the whole idea of mentorship the whole idea of mentorship is to make sure that you don't get stuck into the project the idea of mentorship is not you know uh, asking mentors to explain certain topics all right and it is wise right so if you see if you have 5 hours of the support and if you take let's say uh, ask the mentor to teach you a topic that let's say takes 1 hour then you are not actually getting anything from it right because the resource is already there right you can just watch it on the youtube or maybe uh, get the resources from the portal the supplementary content and things that we provide so all those things are already there with you so when you appear for you know when you start working on this project it is expected that you understand what these components are and only when you are facing e- issues with the project anything that is related to the project you uh, you know get into the meeting with mentor and get those things clear okay this is how you wisely use these five hours to get the project done rather than only you know being able to understand things what is happening all right so you don't waste kind of waste your time in uh, you know joining this mentor sessions you don't waste your time by asking them to explain something okay that is how it is going to be apart from this when you let's say register for the mentorship what will happen is you will be added to a g space your mentor will be added to the g space it is going to be a common g space where everybody will be there for you to support right so we will also be there as instructors we will also be there but the mentor is also there right so whoever is your mentor first you register for mentorship the mentor will connect with you let you you know introduce uh, himself or herself to you to make you understand okay this is my mentor later on when you added to the g space you can just tag them and ask your doubts all right now what kind of doubts will you ask so these will be very trivial doubts like import errors or let's say syntactical errors which don't really need you to come into a meet right so for example if the doubt is getting cleared just by a statement change or just by you know here and there tweaks of the code you don't need to you know come into uh, get the mentors time and come into g meet and then collaborate right certain uh, trivial issues can be sorted just by uh, online uh, this thing g spaces all right so this is what is g space is about the so g space is going to be there until you submit your project right mentor support you can extend it until you submit the project it is something that is like a talk time right so the more you talk the lesser uh, the faster you finish your five hours the less you uh, discuss uh, i mean the less meaning the concise and the relevant thing that you discuss the more wisely you'll use this five hours all right it does not mean that okay to save this five hours you don't you know don't at all connect that is not the whole idea Okay, so that is about uh, the mentorship. Okay, when is it going to start? We are going to start it from twelfth of June onwards. So what do I mean by onwards? Uh, the registration will start from let's say tomorrow itself. Okay, if you feel that okay, I need mentor from very very, very beginning, you can start. Uh, you know, uh, you can register for it. All right, we'll be providing you a G form wherein you can register, and the mentor will be provided to you once your payment is confirmed. All right, so you can see that there is a fee structure uh, associated with it, a thousand rupees fee term uh, that will be available to you in your pending payment section in probably by tomorrow end of the day. All right, so let's say if you register tomorrow and then in uh, uh, by I mean tomorrow if you register it's like seventh tomorrow. So if you register tomorrow, you will be getting mentor from twelfth because the twelfth it is starting. Okay, and then you can continue with the mentor. Okay. Now let's say there is a case that okay, I initially you thought okay, I'm okay with the content, I am understanding everything. I think I should be able to do the project on my own, all right? And then you did not register for mentor by twelfth June. Okay, one to one mentorship by twelfth June. Okay, and then later on, let's say in July, month of July, you and you kind of uh, feel a need for having a one to one mentor. What do you do, right? So it's this is where this onwards comes into picture right so the registration for mentorship will remain open till the deadline okay you can opt for one to one mentor any time you want during this entire term right so you can maybe do it in the month of july and then from then whenever your payment is confirmed we'll provide you a mentor and then you can you know continue your five hours with that right it's not that when you uh, you know uh, take uh, mentorship late there will be deduction of this uh, timing no right some it is completely up to the student whenever they feel the need to have mentor they can register so the me- registration will be opening or uh, i mean the registration will open in let's say tomorrow and will remain open till the end of the day uh, end of the term all right okay so there will be certain deadline that will set but it is going to be very you know very uh, closer to deadline so don't have to worry about okay now i missed the deadline that is not going to happen for at least for this one to one mentor all right 
uh, okay now let me just go to more clear uh, you know clearing this thing how to register file all right so as i said the registration will open throughout the term okay what will happen is we'll be providing you a g form whenever you feel the need for having a mentor you will fill the g form okay now g form will have one component where you'll have to add attach the screenshot of your payment okay that payment can be uh, a screenshot of the payment meaning we will in the form itself there will be a sample screenshot which will give you an idea of what exactly needs to be uh, uploaded in the form okay all right uh, so where do you make this payment right so as i said this payment will be available in your pending payment section okay we will let you know by what name it is available okay it is mostly like uh, uh, may 24 boot camp uh, sorry may 24 one to one mentorship okay something like that it will be opening with all right tag just click on that make the payment and once the payment is made on the portal you should take the screenshot of that very page and then upload it into the form this g form that we'll be sharing okay so the form will also have details on what do you need to upload what kind of uh, uh you know uh, background you have for what courses uh, you are uh, opting for mentorship things like that so it kind of helps us to assign right mentor to you and uh, you know for example obviously a student doing madwin project would not want a mat to mentor right so that uh, connection or the allocation is correctly done we make for that we make uh, certain uh, information to be done by you or filled by you in the g form all right and this again i mentioned right so once you make the payment so how what is the step that you're going to follow you'll make the payment first okay take the screenshot of that pending payment section where this particular section becomes approved right approved or uh, done or successfully done whatever it will come just take a screenshot of that okay and then you go to the g form okay so g form will be sent to you okay again it will be available i'll put it on discords also i'll mail it to you all the students who have registered for the project just as you got the mail for today right uh then filling that g form that form will remain open throughout the term again because you will be registering across term right so when you uh, make the payment the next step is to fill the g form wherein you will put in the details and the screenshot of the pending payment once that submission is done you should expect mentor by uh, you know in into working days all right so let's say if i do it today you should be able to get a mentor or the mentor will communicate with you within two days of this registration okay so that is how we are going to have uh, uh, one to one mentorship all right now this is uh, now who should take one to one mentorship what is who, what are the suitable audience for this right so the students who will take some time to understand the project okay they are doing the project on their own pace okay they are doing the theory course also so there will be lot of you who are doing the theory course also and the project in the same term so in that case i think one to one mentorship is the better choice for you all right then boot camp all right and if you feel that okay i should be able to do the project by my own but i need some time i need a pace of my own where i'll extend it throughout the term do things in a in in a pace i want okay connect with mentor whenever i want so this is where you will uh, this is a place or where you will take one to one mentorship all right so uh, one to one mentorship should be taken for those who are doing the theory course definitely and those who feel yeah. that okay i need some time i want to do one to one uh, sorry i want to do project in you know in steps i want to understand everything that i am doing okay there is no hurry all right so then you will take one to one mentorship okay apart from them what is there what is uh, the other thing the other thing is online boot camp why is this one coming here so online boot camp what is this online boot camp this online boot camp is kind of a fast track right so it is a crash course of doing the project okay now what we will do with this uh, there will be a set of students now this is very different from one to one mentorship right so one to one mentorship is like one mentor one student okay you are the the g mate that you will be joining with the mentor will be you will be there will be only two people the mentor and the mentee whoever it is right but in online boot camp what we'll do is we will uh, assign a group of mentees to a mentor or a group of students to a mentor okay what will actually happen in online boot camps so it will be a 4 hour schedule that is happening on uh, you know 4 hour schedule that is happening uh, in a certain days all right what is going to happen in these 4 hours or what is going to happen actually in this 2 and 1/2 hours it is going to be actually a 2 and 1/2 hour core session and then 1 and 1/2 hour uh, you know doubt clearance session mm -hmm. all right so what is happening what is going to happen in this one and a half hour or two hours the the mentor will be selecting a problem statement 
a project statement it can be a past project statement but obviously not the present or the current project statement right so the bootcamp mentor will be selecting any project statement it will be he will be he or she will be breaking it down into certain components let's say five to six components and create it from end to end all right and that creation will happen in a span of 21 days okay across five to seven sessions okay so the last uh, i mean the boot camps that we used to have previously in the last term were seven days uh, boot camp right so every day students would join in mentor would teach on a certain topic okay finish a part of project and by end of seventh day the project development is done all right who are following it thoroughly should be able to do the project in seven to ten days that's all right but i mean there was one feedback that we got that okay due to the nature of boot camp due to the way it is happening every day it becomes really difficult to grasp okay what is happening on day 1 and then be available with whatever happened in day 1 to and go into day 2 right so to make sure that every student who is under a mentor to be on the same page do whatever the mentor has taught on that particular day we are kind of spanning it into a duration of 21 days all right so what is it going to be let's say you have a session today okay a uh, some part of the project is taught today all right and then you have a one or two or two three days break depending on how difficult or how easy the topic taught is in this three days there will be a kind of uh, uh, you know connection between you and the mentor who will be you know clearing your doubt through g spaces or maybe uh, short calls all right and then once you are done with whatever is taught in day one you come back to uh, the second session all right now what will be the difference between or how much will be the gap between these sessions will be completely dependent on uh, the mentor right because they will be deciding the question statement so they will be quite acquainted with what component they will teach them all right but by the end of 21 days the project should be over and since we are giving sufficient time for the students to you know uh, get in page with what mentor is doing we are assuming that by end of 25 days the the student who has taken boot camp is also done with his or her project all right so this is the only change that we have made everything else remains same okay this again also starts with uh, on 12th june somebody okay so this again starts on 12th june so the registration for the same will start from let's say tomorrow end of the day and will remain open till 10th okay so this is a tentative date and that i'm telling you Uh, i mentioned maybe somewhere yeah so the registration will open from 7 june right so by end of the day tomorrow and then it will remain uh, open till 10 june okay so note one thing in mentorship it was onwards but this is till right so when we start mentorship we should be we are we are we will be sure that okay these many students are only taking boot camp no in you know uh, no addition or registration of uh, student will be entertained in between right once the boot camp starts we will be stopping the registration okay so definitely if the uh, boot camp starts on 12th we will be stopping taking you know we'll stop taking the registrations uh, on 12th okay and anyway we will stop by 10th only right so if you see why because we will also need some time to allocate right mentors uh, set up the date with them kind of arrange uh, the things and everything right create meet links and all those things are there uh, logistical things that are there to make sure that everything goes on smoothly all right now the same thing you will be getting a g a g form wherein you will fill all the information you will select the course for which you are trying to take the boot camp you will select the project on which you are working all right and then you add the payment uh, approved the part right the successful payment screenshot that will be placed all right so these are the two sessions the online boot camp generally happens in two sessions the morning session and the evening session all right now initially it used to be 10 to 2 Okay. Uh, is somebody on unmute? You can please mute yourself. Yeah. So initially, uh, boot camp since it used to be a seven-day boot camp, we we did not have sufficient time to you know explain the concept and take the doubts on the uh, you know give sufficient time students to do their you know project and get get uh, ready with their doubts. okay so what used to happen we used to take four hour session where in first uh, two hours went into teaching the concept teaching the component and next two hours it was uh, the student used to get into breakout rooms and come one by one right 
so that is that is the component that we have removed here what will happen is every session there will be depending on mentor it can be a 2 hour long session it can be a 2.5 hours long session it can be even a 3 hour long session but entire within that session only teaching will happen teaching meaning the project uh, component development will happen okay whatever you understand from there whatever you grasp from there you will have to implement in a set of let's say 2 to 3 days uh, coming okay few near uh, or the next 2 to 3 days and then be ready with the second or the next component on the you know the next session right so this kind of gives uh, more than sufficient time for the student to you know understand the concept uh, implement it and then be ready with the next uh, component okay so these times are tentative this might change okay i just put uh, four hours because i don't want to you know change much so i put four hours these are tentative it completely depends on mentors all right now there is one more very important thing uh so as i said there will be two sessions right morning session and evening session okay so morning session uh, uh i mean if you take i mean this as i mentioned here right so for the student this is specifically for students who are having both mad one and mad two project pending and they have taken they have planning to do it in this term all right so if you have both the projects and on that if you are planning to take boot camp for both the projects okay so these are the two very crucial conditions right if you are planning to do the project this term first thing second thing you are take planning to take boot camp for both the projects okay in that case there will be two session right so if you take mad one in the morning session you cannot take mad one again in the evening session okay you have to take either mad two okay and vice versa if you take mad two in the morning session you cannot take mad two in the evening session okay uh, because definitely right so when you study something uh, when you you know learn something in the morning you will you would not want to come back and do the same thing in the evening right the next session that you would do would be a uh, two days later or three days later right and it will be uniform so if you are taking a morning slot all your sessions will happen in the morning if you are taking an evening slot all your sessions will happen in the evening so that there is uniformity first thing second thing you come to same mentor every time right because as i said mentors will choose question statement of their own all right so if there i mean if you you know come in the morning session and with a question statement you might come in the evening session with a different question statement right so anyway we only by ourselves do not allow that we only by ourselves we make sure that that does not happen okay but this is something that students have to be very uh, you know uh, precise about that okay if i am taking a morning slot for mad one i should take evening slot for mad two and vice versa okay both mad one morning uh, evening both mad two morning evening is not permissible we don't even allow it right uh yeah that's what i mentioned right so make sure you take uh, mad one boot camp in the morning and then you take mad two in the evening and vice versa okay and this is specifically for those who want to do projects both mad one and mad two projects in this term and who are planning to take boot camp for both mad one and mad two right some might find mad one easier than mad two so they might not take boot camp for mad one it is completely up to you okay you can either take both the boot camps you can either take any one of the boot camps or you can choose to not take boot camp because probably you might be taking one to one mentorship right now who should take online boot camp okay who should take online boot camp students who are done with their theory course and have only project pending okay so if you and specific right so if i am done with my mad one theory course i should take boot camp for my mad one project and get done with it right so the idea of boot camp is to you know uh, to be able to create a project in quick quick succession right in a period of let's say 25 to 30 days that's all right so that is what we are planning so who should take uh, boot camp students who are done with their theory course and are or and are having only projects pending okay and who and definitely for mentorship anybody can take right even you can take mentorship those who are those who are done with the theory course can also take one to one mentorship for the project no harm in that but wise converse is not true right those who are doing the theory course should not take online boot camp okay those who are doing the theory course also in may 24 should not take online boot camp why because boot camp most of the boot camp part will go above your head okay you have just started to do the theory and then you see that okay there are components being built models being built okay view js being introduced you know back end advanced back end all those things will completely go above your head right so students who are done with the theory course can take boot camp 
can take one to one mentorship okay students who are doing the theory course in may 24 should not take boot camp they should only take one to one mentorship okay i hope this is clear right so registration part will also remain pretty much the same okay there is only a, a difference that there will be deadline for boot camp registration whereas for one to one mentorship uh, registration there won't be any boot camp so the links uh, or the payment portal for these four things what are these four things mad one one to one mentorship mad two one to one mentorship mad one boot camp mad two boot camp all these four things will be available to you based on obviously based on your registration it will be available to you by tomorrow end of the day all right and you can start filling the form so we will be giving you the form also we'll be sharing the form the way we shared the link for this uh, meeting all right and then you should be able to uh, uh, you know register for it okay so this is kind of pretty much it that i wanted to you know explain to you in in terms of one to one mentorship and what boot camp is all about all right uh, now i'll be taking the queries okay so i'll just stop sharing my screen yeah and just before you ask i'll be sharing the document that i just shared right so i'll be sharing this document i'll be sharing the recording for this uh, meeting okay all right so let us go with uh, you know let us go with the hands raised okay one second yes go ahead uh, shailendra shailendra vikram singh yes sir good evening sir yeah good evening so uh, i i am doing theory classes means this time can i join the boot camp uh shailendra your voice is breaking is it is it with me only uh, no 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 i'm i'm saying that i am i i am a, i am joined i am doing the theory madman theory classes okay and can i am can i also join the boot camp uh no sir i think see joining the boot camp will only you know increase your trouble because see boot camp is a hard and fast thing every second day you will be dealing with something that is not uh, something that you have not even seen right doing the theory course will at least be acquainted with whatever is there in the content right and then maybe jump on to boot camp okay, okay. So, so it is I not advisable mentorship is okay yeah you can take mentorship that's why i said okay uh, if you are doing the theory course you can take one to one mentorship if you are done with the theory course you can take either of it or even both not an issue okay thank you very much okay next uh, i would go to sandeep kumar Yes, yeah, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Uh, sir, I have done my my two theory in September two thousand twenty-three. Right. Uh, which which one my two project I have to choose? Okay, so it does not matter there now. Currently, the if you have gone through the project document, we have mentioned two valid question statements, right? So it is the influencer uh, engagement and sponsorship coordination platform that is the one thing, and library management system. These are the two valid question statement. You can choose any one of it and do a project on it. Okay, sir. And uh, one more question, sir. Uh, in Jan twenty twenty four, I have taken boot uh, boot camp session. Okay. uh due to some reason i didn't uh, attend and uh, i was unable to complete the mat 2 project hmm. so uh, my uh, mat 2 boot camp will be extended for me or i have to register uh, you have to see if you have taken some sessions uh, i'll have to review that first but if you have taken some sessions i'll have to re-register okay so okay sir. thank you sir. okay okay uh Okay. Next, uh, Manan. Yeah. Hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Um. So, sir, my question was: This boot camp will be organized, uh, for a period of twenty-one days, as it, as you mentioned in the document. Right. So each day we'll be having sessions, right? Uh. No, I mean, not each not each. I mean the day, the time difference will be depending on the mentor, right? Time um, difference. Yeah. So a couple of things. One, it depends on the mentor. Secondly, it depends on the topic, right? For example. Okay. uh if let's say let's talk about mat uh, mat to right so initially when you you know the orientation part might not take a lot of time right that mm -hmm. is one thing yeah. Yeah. then there are certain things like salary jobs back end jobs they might not take that much time okay, okay. what takes time creating apis creating the front end so that takes yeah. larger time so okay. the mentor will accordingly you know distribute uh, or create a 
uh, difference between the two sessions, right? So, for example, okay. if I'm dealing with or the mentor is dealing with a topic that does not take or should not take much time, you can have session in a gap of, let's say, one or two days. But if you're doing things like APIs or view and creating route, routes and other things, then in that case, the, uh, you know, the gap between those two might be uh, two to three days because you also need to understand things, implement, and then get back to the place where the mentor left off, right? Okay. Yeah, so it depends uh, on two things, content and mentor. Okay. And uh, one question was that uh, the fees for both bootcamp as well as the mentorship will be 1,000, right? Okay. 1,000 each. 1,000 each, yeah. Um, and also, sir, I wanted to ask this. Uh, this time, uh, uh, there has been sessions uh, for the bootcamp that will be going to have in person at the IITM campus. Uh, so how will that be concluded? That is uh, that is something completely out of, uh, you know, uh, I mean, we are trying to experiment that. And I heard we in, are, the, correct, I heard I in the orientation session, yeah. Right. And I am, so we are kind of planning a different set of students for that. We will definitely, I mean, some of you might even get a mail for that. Okay. And what are mm -hmm. these uh, set of students specifically who are done with 20 courses in your uh, foundation and diploma and still have project spending? Okay. All right. So, so it is not for all as of now. It completely, so it's like on the priority basis. Who, uh, which students are on or uh, in front of our eyes when you look, when we look at off campus boot camp is the students who are done with all their 20 theory courses theory in courses. foundation and diploma, mm -hmm. uh, both data science and programming, and uh, still have their MAD1 and MAD2 or any one of that uh, remaining, right? So this is kind of uh, something that these are, you know, are the oldest students, right? Yeah, okay. So we have to focus on that part first. So it won't be not for us. I mean, those who are going, still doing the theory On courses. priority, right? So it depends on the registration we get from them. Okay, so the first thing mm -hmm. is uh, no diploma completing without the project. Twenty cores done, no project. These are this is the first category. The second mm -hmm. cohort is uh, at least one uh, project. Uh, they do uh, okay, one project done, but the other is remaining, right? That okay. is the other cohort. Then we'll come to you know uh, students who are taking the theory and still uh, mm -hmm. doing the so uh, less less probability for us to. Yeah, less probability okay. because again we don't want to you know bulk a lot of uh, students and then mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know do that in experimental basis so right so this is just okay. an experimentation because in campus there is a lot of logistics also involved so we need mm -hmm. to see what should be the uh, you know things right once those are uh, once those things are uh, completely done by yes we feel that okay student found it useful coming to the campus and doing the project okay. then we'll extend it to other categories other cities yeah okay um so the registration for boot camp and one to one mentorship will start from tomorrow right sir most probably tomorrow latest probably. okay um, yeah yeah okay sir thank you okay all right uh all right next would be raj patel yeah good evening sir our boot camp sessions recorded so that we can watch again next day or evening yeah, definitely. So we'll ask uh, the mentors to create a drive link wherein they will be adding the recorded part every day, right? Every session, I mean. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, obviously. So when you, I mean, so let's say you do a session today, you will be trying to follow them, understand. But later on, when you do do the same thing on your project statement, maybe tomorrow and after tomorrow, before coming back to the second session, you should be able to refer back to it, right? So definitely, we'll be asking the mentors to create a G G drive wherein they'll add all the recorded sessions. Yeah, that's my thing. Thank you so much. Okay, next uh, next would be Himanshu Saini. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, I just wanted to ask, like the regular project session that will uh, happen, is is it sufficient? Uh, like, are those sessions sufficient for the? Uh, okay, project. so one question here, are you done with your theory course? Yeah, I am done with the theory okay, How do you find the theory course? Understood the theory, concepts? Yeah, understood the concepts and uh, and yeah, it's easy. By the way, is it for MAD1 or MAD2? Uh, I did only MAD1. So. MAD1 is it? Okay. Yeah. So I think project sessions should be sufficient. So we'll be starting project sessions from Monday onwards. Yeah, and it, only one session in a week. So. Yeah, one session per week. So, I, okay, let me tell you that. So, let's say you do project session on the safe side. You do the project session from Monday onwards. All right. Mm -hmm. In a couple of sessions, you'll understand whether it is, you know, easy to do or you'll need help. Okay. The moment you realize you need help, you take one-to-one -one mentorship. 
Okay, so you're not losing anything. So, like, uh, what should one take uh, if I if I completed uh, thirty courses? So, thirty courses of the med one. Then, what should I take on one to one membership or boot camp? I think you should go with one to one. See, because you said that you are okay with the theory content, then you might not need complete uh, development of project, right? And that is anyway done using project sessions. And so, if you are able to understand those, then I think you should be able to do most of the things by yourself. Okay. And uh, uh, in my opinion, the boot camps are based on the previous projects that happened, right? Uh, project, project, project statement. So one more uh, thing comes like uh, uh, those pro problem statement has some feature that uh, in this particular project we don't have or any feature that we have but they didn't cover. So. Yeah, correct. So that is the that is there. But see, the focus of both project sessions, bootcamp sessions is covering the core concepts, right? The core features first. Okay, that kind of remains common or very similar you know, across mm -hmm. session statements. Okay. So if I didn't take an, uh, any any uh, mentorship or bootcamp, uh, will you help me if I stuck anyone? Yeah, the instructor will definitely help you in the project session. What will happen? Initial part of it will definitely go into you know developing that part of the project, and then the later part of the project session goes into taking the doubts, right? Now, if at all, if at all you are stuck at very specific thing, you you need to share the screen. Then then we will recommend you to take mentorship sessions. Okay, because in even in project session, you can discuss with me. I mean, in the whoever the instructor is, you can discuss with them. Ask them what you are, where you are facing issues. You can ask them, you know, ways in which you can implement certain features. But at there, if there is a point where you'll have to share the screen, that may not be possible because along with you, there will be many who are watching the the same session, right? So we don't want code sharing happening anyway. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, understand. Thank you. Very much. Yeah, thank you. All right. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Next, we'll move to Shaivan. Uh, good evening, sir. Yeah, great. Uh, so I have Mad One and Mad Two project both together this time. I'm done with the theory courses for both, and okay. this is my last term to get into the degree. Okay. So my priority would be to complete the projects. Right. Uh, but at the same time, sir, one suggestion: if we have both Mad One and Mad Two boot camp on the same day. It will be too much for a person to attend eight hours just for the session. So, would it be by any chance possible to uh, have the session on like just you know like on two different days? Like if it's if one is on twelfth, the other one on thirteenth, something See, that, of that. That's something that is something that I cannot comment on, right? Why? Because uh, we have given a window of twenty-one days. Now, how sessions are split between these twenty-one days depends on uh, the mentor. Right, so there is a possibility that you don't have uh, two sessions on same day, but there is a possibility that two sessions could end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now to get rid of this thing, what you can do is prioritize which project you want to do first. Take mm -hmm. that boot camp and maybe come to another boot camp in next. Week. Okay. So when when is the next boot camp expected? Let's do this now. Uh, probably in the first week or second week of July. Yeah. Okay. And so one more uh, request, would it be possible to have the project uh, orientation of or the first uh, session for the project to yeah. explain the pro problem statement before the bootcamp starts? Because yeah, that, that is... will also help us to work side by side on the project. Right, right. That is going to be there, but you don't have to worry about it. Firstly, why? Because project session, the first project session is definitely orientation. We'll give you a good understanding of what question statement it is what okay. we are expecting right that is anyway okay. there but huh. in the boot camp also the first session would go on in explaining the question statement only the question statement that you have to do not the one that uh, you know i mean that is all, all that is anyway going to be there but the mentor will also explain you the current question statement okay okay that will help you but i okay. think that should be that should not be an issue because the first uh, project session for both mad one and mad two we are going to have on 10th i guess that's monday Okay. Okay. All right. And anyway, yeah. we'll try to cover uh, the uh, and in the first uh, project sessions, definitely is uh, project orientation. Mm. Yeah, sir. That will help. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Next, uh, Rikwit. Uh, sorry, Rithvik. 
Uh, good evening, sir. So I am uh, I am done with MAT one project. I have MAT two project this term. Uh, I see a new requirement here, the Git tracker requirement. So previously we were told that we should not upload to Git, uh, even the private repos, because there will be issue with plagiarism, right? Because it could flag that we have copied from ourselves, right? Uh, but now we are having this Git tracker requirement, and then FAQ is still pending on this. So should we now start to kind of if we if our repos are private, should we like uh, do the entire project or like with the with version control on Git? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, so that is something that we have uh, you know tested first. I mean, uh, did anyone who got I mean did anyone who got uh, you know uh, caught has plagiarized? Hmm. Was this coming from private repository anywhere? Okay. So we found out that that was not the case, right? Mm -hmm. If the repository is private, you it will not be shared anywhere. Okay. Okay. So based on that, we have uh, kind of made sure that okay, the private repositories are safe. So you can create one and uh, do the version controlling there. Okay. So, so should we kind of uh, upload uh, the, our existing like Mad One project? Should I like uh, uh, kind of sync my Mad One project to Git? Uh, to, to GitHub because it will end up like as a even if it's a private repo, the mm -hmm. contribution will still show and the technology definitely, is definitely. Show up. Yeah, you can. Oh, okay, thank you, sir. Okay. So, sir, those who are doing the same project statement uh, for MAT2, those uh, students who they don't have to share right the project on GitHub, even as a private repo. No, private repo you can share. Doesn't matter if you're doing uh, the same or different question statement. Private repo okay. you can share. So just to follow up, like in that, it's also given that we should add uh, the course team as the right. kind of contributors. Mm -hmm. So is is that because like you, if we have any doubts, you can kind of refer to our code. Uh, that is one thing, and the other thing is uh, we will be tracking your project with that. So you kind of give us access to your project, what state your project is in, and then anytime we can come up and track what is happening. Hmm. So I mean, see, as of now, we have not uh, clearly stated out what exactly we are trying to do with that. As of now, we just want students to do that so that before they start doing uh, working on the you know start working on that project, they so are having this version control thing. This is actually very good. Like this is also going to solve the problem we are having with Replit because. Uh, like those sessions which we have right for coding because that thing is getting uh, shut down the replit for education so even for that you can use uh, these kind of uh, github because github gives us free access right right so uh that's what right so uh, later on i mean in in the in some time uh, we will also release something called as milestones what exactly milestones are with respect to question statement and how do you make sure that when you commit, you uh, you also say that I'm done with this particular component, right? And that is going to happen with the help of milestones. So we are very going uh, very soon going to release that also. Okay, specialized uh, specialized meaning specific milestones for particular question statement, right? So let's say for example, Madwin project, you want to you are done with creating models of your project. Okay, so how do you commit or what should be the commit statement? that is you know standardized commit statement so that we also understand that okay this person has done models okay sir but when we are developing yeah. we are going to have a lot of commits that is okay that's right. what so that's what so we are actually working on how do you segregate out that specific commit with other commits so should we like maintain a main branch and, and a working like uh, branch and then not kind required. Of... Not required you can but not required see main branch working branch only comes into picture when you are uh, you know, collaborating. Okay. And we are not going to contribute to your project. So there won't be anything added from our end. But sir, like those standard uh, kind of commits, right? If we kind of develop in a side branch and then commit to the main branch only when we have completed a checkpoint, yeah, that also wouldn't be. it be easier for you to monitor? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. You can do that. But, but the sir, thing is, but the thing is, uh, we, we will be using, you know, code to make sure that a specific commit is different from whatever other commits you do. Okay. Okay. Then it is fine. Okay. So it's not that, uh, you know, obviously you see the scale of students, you cannot do that manually. Right. And uh, we would not want students to uh, say models done and we assume that, okay, models are done. 
so that is a specific way in which we uh, we would ask you to make commits and uh, you know trace those commits uh, with the help of code okay but yeah again what you suggested is also fine you can create a branch of it uh, do all the development there and when you feel that okay after five six commits the seventh commit is something that actually counts so then you then push or merge it with the main branch you can do that so is instructions regarding how to do that would also be yes helpful. yes yes definitely so we have created i mean yes, we have uh, recorded a set of tutorials for that uh, how to create milestones how do you make sure that this milestone is a specific milestone and not any other commit uh, all those uh, tutorials are recorded and we'll be releasing it releasing also also a tutorial is sharing how we will be able to share our project in github i mean those who are not familiar with git must yeah know. so for now if you if you have gone through the git uh, you know that document tracker document you should see that okay it is a step by step right even the images are added in a way that you don't even see here and there right mm -hmm. so you follow that we'll try to make sure that every documentation we provide on that is as specific as that so that you don't get confused here i mean those students who are doing the uploading the project for the first time on github for those students it will be a problem if they are not familiar with the so kind of these tutorials uh, help in that right so we will be releasing it so. For now, just create that repository. It may or may not have everything. It may or may not have code for now, right? Just a readme file would do. And that, uh, you know, mm -hmm. the GitHub by itself will tell you how to add readme file. Okay. Yeah, I have account. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, next would be Ambuja. Ambuja ki R. Hello, sir. Um, I'm going to start my uh, project from uh, July. So, but I'm planning to take the boot camp, but I will not be able to attend it in uh, June. So, will there be any second batch of that uh, boot camp? Right, we're planning to have one in July also. So, if I want to opt in, I can opt for in that uh, uh, batch, right? Batch, yes. The same applies. The same. Same. same, same. Yes. Oh, oh thank. Uh, approximately, when will it be? Second uh, week of July. Okay, okay sir. Oh, thank you. Next, Pratik. Uh, yes, sir. I finished my Mad1 theory last term and I've taken up Mad1 project this term. Uh, regarding this online bootcamp, uh, I wanted to ask about the slot timings. Can we choose them or they are allotted? Because no, no, you can choose them. Not in... okay. you can choose. So, see, the slot timing will be, you know, in uh, this thing, uh, 10 to 2 and 7 yeah, to yeah, 11. Yeah, morning or the evening. Okay. So, you we can, can choose, choose either one. You can choose. Okay. So the form and, uh, that I mentioned, right? That will have yeah. uh, that will ask you to select any one of them. Okay. And uh, one more thing, sir, uh, regarding this uh, project submission deadline, um, uh, where it was told that you know if you submit before a particular timeline, you get you are graded out of one twenty marks. Otherwise, graded for hundred. Uh, See, you did you did your theory in the Jan twenty four, right? Yes. Yes. It doesn't matter when you submit, you will be marked out of one twenty. Okay. okay. That's it. Thank you. I think it is mentioned in the grading document that uh, we are not really, you know, uh, looking at a particular date before or after you submit. Uh, it is. Okay. Uh, uh, it depends on when you finished your theory. Okay. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Next, uh, Kavita Anchit. Uh, good evening, sir. Um, actually, my query is uh, in one-to-one -one mentorship session. Will there be uh, sessions uh, allotted to the explanation or? explaining the project kind of thing how to do it or it will be just like last time it is uh, five hours and we have to ask our queries and uh, mentor will be helping us yeah pretty much the same right so there that's why that's what i said there won't be any content delivery happening in one-to-one -one session uh okay. we expect students to understand the components it is just that when they you know come across certain errors or are not sure how to go about certain things then they can plan a session with the mentor and join okay so uh if i cannot uh devote the time for the boot camp so is it advisable that i have already done my mad 2 theory hmm. and uh, if i is it advisable that i should take the project session which will be happening uh, weekly and then uh, one to one mentorship that will help me like yeah definitely so so if you if you ask me the project session and mm -hmm. one to one mentorship taken together into 21 days is what is boot camp right okay okay 
right and uh, there is no limit uh, the deadline uh, i mean uh, date commitment for the uh, mentorship one to one mentorship no? that i have to complete the project only like in this case in within 21 days only person has to complete the project in no. case of boot camp so similar time limit is there the for the yeah for the mentorship one to one mentorship also there is a deadline like that no 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 even for boot camp also there is no deadline we are expecting that okay, with okay. the project i mean with the support that we are giving okay. students following what to do what not to do they should be able to do it within a span of 25 days there is no deadline okay. for that okay okay got it got it sir thank you so the final deadline for both taking boot camp for taking mm -hmm. the mentorship everything is the actual deadline for project okay okay thank you sir Ishika, next. Good evening, sir. Uh, so I completed my Mad One uh, theory subject previous term, and I'm taking the project this term. This uh, this is the first time I'm taking any project. Uh, I just had like few queries. First is like uh, from 10th June to 24th July, we have the submission period, and only after this we can uh, like uh, uh, slot the book for the level one uh, like viva, right? Okay. What is the date you said? जुलाई right so whenever you what actually happens is the submissions are processed and the vivas are taken in windows okay. okay windows meaning what windows for example we will first take uh, i mean the the windows will so the submission portal will open on 10th okay 10th mm -hmm. of june you can then make submission there will be students other than you who will be submitting right this window will remain open till uh, 30th of june end of june Okay. Okay, and then we'll process all the submission that we got from tenth of June till thirtieth of June. Okay, and then we. And then you'll have level one for. Uh, I mean, those who have submitted in this window will have level one and level two right after that. Okay, so there would be different windows. Okay. Right. Right. And so till like, uh, like what would be the last month of submission? Like, it will start in July. Thirty-first July. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's like from 10 June you can start applying. Like if the slot window slot is there, we can uh, submit a project. Yeah, it will be there, right? So uh, let me tell you. See, so 10th June portal opens. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 30th June portal closes. Okay. All the students who submit between these the span of 20 days, their level one and level two will happen in first week of July. Okay, sir. All right. From first of July, the window ag again opens. Okay, and then it goes on till fifteenth of July. So okay. these fifteen days, whoever submits, their viva will happen from fifteenth to twenty-first of July. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. you got the you got the trend. Oh, yes, sir, I got it. And sir, regarding uh, one more thing about the GitHub part, we have to create a private repo and do all the comments and all the code over there, right. uh, like just to keep a track. Like it's for tracking, right? For your your side, yes. just for tracking. Yeah. It is for your side also and for our side. Also. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, sir. Okay. Next, Roshan. Roshan Ashwin Singh. Uh, I have not yet uh, received any this project statement. Uh, it's not showing on my project uh, page. Uh, project page. Which project page are you looking at? Means for registered courses. When I go into the registered courses and when I go into the my projects page, it's not showing the uh, current project statement. That okay. Is okay. Don't worry about it. We are still in the process of registering students, right? So the registration is still open and things like that. So that is kind of taking time. I'll meanwhile I'll share you the question statement from my end, right? So anyway, the question statement is available in project document, which is available in grading document. Okay, right, sir. Okay, right, so sir. if you have the access to front end, uh, the term uh, front end, right, your dashboard, yes, on sir. the Seek portal, you can just go through the grading document. All right, okay. in the okay. grading document, you will find project document. Right, sir. Okay. And within the project document, we'll find the wireframe and question statement. Right, sir. Thank you. 
Okay, next uh, Debashish. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. So, sir, uh, I have just uh, saved the, the the link that you have shared. So, there are actually two project statement for AppDev two. Uh, so, which one uh, will be like uh, doing it? Which one will be? Like which one? Uh, how should I know that which one will be for me? Like no, no, you can you can just go through the both the question statement once again. Whichever you feel that you can work on, start working on. It. Okay, 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 okay. Got it, got it. So, so you can choose so, any one of it. Any one of it. Okay. Uh, so sir, uh, yeah. So when when is the payment for this uh, boot camp will happen? Yeah. So this will start from tomorrow end of the day and will remain open till tenth of June. Okay. 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 Then it will be thousand rupees, right? Right. Okay. It should be available, or it should be uh, you know visible under your payment uh, pending payment. Okay. Section. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. And uh, what is the number of session that we can take? Uh, meaning? Meaning this is a one to one mentorship, right? No, no, no. Boot camp is not one to one. Boot camp is both, right? So it's okay. like the live session we have, right? So you join. Ah, in the got it. Got it. Got it, got it. So, uh, if I want to take one to one, then is this also available? Yeah. So one. That's what I mentioned, right? There is boot camp and there is one to one mentorship. All these things will be available in your pending payment section, whichever okay, you feel uh, you whichever want to pay for. Yeah. You can pay for that, and then the I mean, whatever. The boot camp will start from twelfth, and whenever you do the payment for mentorship, uh, you should be able to connect with the mentor in couple of days after that. Okay. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, this is okay. Next, Janvi. Good evening, sir. Yeah, uh, sir, as you have said, uh, boot camp is not advisable uh, if we take up the projects in the same term as with theory. So, uh, is it like compulsory thing, or uh, uh, is it uh, an advice from you for us? it is it is for uh, now an advice okay but uh, okay. see the thing is if uh, it it will not uh, you know help that much as i said right so when you take a theory course uh, the theory course content would go on till end of july right but um, uh, the boot camp let's say it starts from 10 so it will be done within a span of 21 days so you will be working on things that you have not even studied so that I feel should not be the case, right? That is the reason it is advisable. There is no hard and fast rule that you cannot take boot camp. If you are aware of the content from the from the first, even though you are doing the theory course, then I think that should not be an issue. The whole idea is you take a boot camp and then you don't find it useful. That does not make sense. Correct. So when you have that understanding of uh, content and everything, the boot camp and everything will make more sense. Okay, because then you will understand what mentor is saying. You will make sense of it. Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. Uh, but the bootcamp sessions will be recorded, sir. Yeah, that's what. So bootcamp session will be recorded, and uh, as I said, we will ask mentors, every mentors, to uh, maintain their own uh, drive, wherein they will add, keep on adding the recorded, whatever session happened, they will keep on adding. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Right. Next, uh, Siddharth Kaushik. Yes, sir. So for the bootcamp part, if I am not feeling right now uh, to take the bootcamp, but later on in next month I want to take bootcamp, can I register then? Or definitely. it is one time opportunity? No, 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 definitely. So if uh, every bootcamp uh, there, we will let you know you can register. Right. So one bootcamp happening in June, the other bootcamp happening in July. Okay. 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 And take Thank you. Next, uh, Sanda, Sanjana. Sanjana Ratish. Is that? Uh, my visa became issuance, but within four months, three is like cycle login. Uh, sorry, I'm not able to hear you, Sanjana. What is happening? What's happening? The visa booking hotel. Right. 
as soon as they try to log in it's showing forbidden code not true you don't worry about it see that's what i'm saying right for the project uh, portal we are yet to create the may 24 portal we are yet to register students into portal once that is done you should be able to do it right so as i said the submission portal will be starting uh, to take submission from 10 so you can expect that to open by 10th okay for now you don't have to worry about portal so the mat to sorry the project portal will open sorry by 10th yeah most probably okay when is Because the deadline for deadline for the project for okay so deadline for the project is 31st july it is mentioned in the grading document or the project document sorry you can have a look at it okay okay sir thank you hmm okay next uh, yeah take k hari prasad good evening sir Yeah. Uh, uh, sir, last time I attended a boot camp uh, for mm. math one. It was excellent. Uh, can I choose the same mentor? If you permit me. Ah, uh, yeah. Please let me. Uh, so when you register for the boot camp, please mail me that this was my mentor and I want to continue with the same. Okay. Now see if it is possible, we will give you. Okay. Okay. Fine, sir. It's not so that I when can... you mail, we will definitely give you. But if it is possible, definitely we'll give you. Okay. okay it's not that one mentor is good others are not others are also excellent no, 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 no. i feel comfort that's i'm not yeah yeah that's that. okay but i have no not problem sir yeah yeah no problem with that just mail it to me once the registration for your boot camp is done if it is possible i'll definitely provide you okay so i can join both uh, you know one to one mentorship as well as the boot camp right sir yes, there is no can. no restriction on that no restriction yes you can do that okay thanks so much Uh, okay next mithilesh hello sir uh, sir i have uh, uh, previous term i have registered for this uh, project i am now 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 i am opening this uh, course it is showing that you are not subscribed to this course sir it is not opening uh, so when are you, where are you trying it is it seek uh, no in that uh, dashboard from the dashboard i am going current project yeah that's what right so don't worry about it seek anyway so all the project related communication submission viva slot booking result all these things happen in viva workflow okay not the seek portal not the dashboard okay no, and no, we are no. yet to register students into the viva workflow once that is done you should be able to do the viva workflow okay okay so you mean to say that it is not completely open as of now right yes yes still in process okay and second question is sir i have registered for the mat to uh, mentorship but i haven't re received any notification after that i have done the payment okay is it uh, 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 you know mat to theory mentorship is it mat to mat to theory yeah okay okay fine so we are yet to set those uh, uh, you know sessions they will start in probably by next week okay okay thank you sir okay uh, mahadevan m mahadevan So good evening, sir. Good evening. So, so actually, as you said, the boot camp is set to happen in a window of twenty-one days. Hmm. So, even after the end, the boot camp is over. Will we will we be able to access the boot camp sessions, or it is like after the boot camp will not be able to access? Or... Boot camp session meaning the recordings. Ah, the recordings. Sir. Yes, yes. Okay. Sir, and and one more doubt, and the number of sessions in the boot camp is up to the mentors, which are it is something fixed, some six, six to seven sessions. Or yeah, it sessions. will be it will be around that because that's what it takes to cover the core uh, requirement, right? So we have had the previous boot camps. This is what on an average mentors uh, take, right? So around five to seven sessions is what you will be getting in you know in a span of let's say two to three days gap. Okay, okay. Right. So just consider that seven threes are twenty one. So you have one session, then two days gap, and then one session like that. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next, uh, Deepesh. Is Deepesh here? Yes, sir. Sorry, sorry. I I was on mute. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, I have two questions. So actually, in the last term, I completed my Med One project with library management system. In this current uh, Med Two, there again library management project is there. So can mm -hmm. I, I can uh, again take the same statement? I have to take the another one only. Uh, 
you can take the same statement not anything. same statement okay and is there any deadline for the bonus marks for the mat 2 project uh, when did you take theory when did you finish your theory mat last theory? term last last term yeah so you will be calculated uh, I, i mean you will be capped out of 120 whatever your score is multiplied by 1.2 that will happen later so is there any deadline for that if i submit before no, no, that no. only no deadline no. final deadline is the deadline for that right or so even okay. even if we submit our project in extension batch we will still be evaluated out of 120 right let's not discuss about extension batch for now okay okay okay, okay sir sorry yeah. it depends on the submissions right so we yeah, can update uh, it last yeah. term but again depends on submission Okay. Okay. Next, Siddharth. Yes, uh, I wanted to ask whether the payment for the one-to-one -one sessions will be open uh, till the till thirty-first July. Yeah. So I mean, not exactly till thirty-first July, but you can say around till twenty-first of July because we don't want see somebody student paying on thirtieth of July and saying that I did not get any you know support because the very okay. next day there is deadline, right? But the payment link will be active, right? Yeah, payment no. link will be active. We'll try to keep it as late as possible, open till as late as possible. Okay. Okay. It's just that uh, I mean, see, if you're taking mentorship, you should have sufficient time after your registration is confirmed to take those, uh, utilize those five hours also, right? Otherwise, it will, it, it will be wasted. So because uh, I wanted to ask because uh, if we feel like we wanted we wanted one to one session. Say in the first week of July, we'll be able to do that, right? Definitely, that's what I said, right? So uh, it's tenth uh, June onwards. Whenever you feel that you are getting stuck more on the project, and now you need somebody else to look at it, you can take it. Okay. okay? So the payment port, uh, uh, the payment portal for one-to-one -one men uh, mentorship will remain open. Submit whenever you want. I mean, pay for it whenever. You want. Clear, no, sir? Is that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. All right. Next, Shaman. Ah, uh, sir, for uh, G space, if I have to connect with you or Shivani, ma'am, yes. um, how? Because initially there was Mad One project group now, uh, until some time back, but hmm. I can't see that group. Ah, uh, how would I uh, be able to find you on those? Yeah. So see, just go open the G space on the top left of the chat. You will see a uh, new chat, right? Uh, yes. On the new chat, just uh, write in my mail. Uh, on the right side. No, sir. The dedicated G chat, blue space for Mad Two project. When will that be created? Yeah, yeah. that will that will be created. Okay. That it we are working on. See, so that's all right. So the registration. Once we are done with. uh okay this is the number of students we have for project right then we'll create all these things okay g space and everything okay so i will i will uh... yeah so you see i mean just it's like uh, you know just uh, uh, for example in whatsapp also if you want to message somebody who's never there in your communication you just create a new communication new conversation right that is yeah. what you would do yeah they also look no. for the new conversation uh, ah. here there its number here its email id okay so we, okay okay so i will i will search right. yeah okay but if if it is not uh, uh, i mean if it is not if it is very specific to project then you can uh, wait maybe for a couple of days we will be uh, creating the this thing uh, the spaces right may 24 abdev 1 abdev 2 then uh, all the generic uh, discussion would go on there right that would be Uh, the place where we'll let you know about all the updates and things like. That. Yeah, sir. It is related to project only. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Any question? Um. Okay. Let me just check the chat. Yeah. As I said, boot camp recording sessions will be available to you after the boot camp also. For Mad One, only one question statement. Okay. No options for that. GitHub repo for both, right? I mean, if you're doing Mad One project, uh, add CS two zero zero three. If it is Mad Two, add CS two zero zero six. Both of things are mentioned in the GitHub document. Okay, you can just go through it and then do it accordingly. Okay, next question. 
uh, free sessions meaning so there is only one type of session that is free that is project sessions okay so that happens every monday uh, uh, for mad one it happens on four to six for mad two it is probably six to eight okay but it should be available in your calendar okay so these are the free session free session obviously you have registered for it paid and registered right so those are sessions which come in within the uh, as a part of project okay so these are instructor led sessions wherein again the instructor will be working on a similar question statement if not the exact one uh, you can follow that also all right and then maybe take let's say if you need a personalized help then take one to one mentorship so that also you can opt for Whenever you okay, so there is a question. I'll start working on Matto project after twenty fifth June. When should I add? Whenever you start working on your project, you do that right before it. Okay, so it will be better to have a repo created right before you do the project because you might want to save every change that you do. Right, you might want to commit everything that every you know every gradual change that you are making to the project. Okay, so whenever you plan to do the project, do it. It is not mandatory to do it now only, but it is just safe to keep it. You know, have it uh, ready. Regular project Mad One uh, session should be sufficient if you are good with theory, right? So once uh, if you know that okay, my theoretical concepts are okay, I have done lab assignments and score good in them. I know how to connect multiple components with each other. you can just i mean at this point you would need only an assistance as to how to go about the entire project statement where different components come in and how do i connect with them right so these are uh, these this is kind of very clearly covered in the project session so we will be sharing you two things one is a playlist for current term live session for the project and also the playlist for last term uh, live session of the project that is uh, jan 24 okay so those session also we will share i think that is shared i guess with by the shivani okay so you can have a look at that if you want to start it now otherwise if you want to start fresh those session will start uh, from 10th of june so jan 2024 sessions are only four four sessions are there only four so is it incomplete no 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 it's not uh, it's not incomplete probably the uh, you know the playlist is not up, but the playlist was updated only four i made sure that the playlist was updated i'll just check and get back okay Okay, so I've shared the playlist. Right, it has all the videos. Right, this is Jan twenty four project sessions. So for Mat two, I was asking. Sorry. For Mat two, okay. For yeah. Mat two, sorry, I Only thought you sorry. mentioned Mat one. Sorry, I didn't mention. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll share. Okay, I'll just okay. have a look at it and I'll share. Okay. so project session for a mat two were limited there were only five sessions and it was specifically based on the core components of the project yeah four only are showing up on the screen yeah so four and five session i think were taken one of that yeah, so be... that one was orientation yeah. and rest three were okay made. so you do that will update if any of the video was accidentally removed or not added okay okay, okay. otherwise you can follow the new project sessions coming right may yeah, 24 yeah. project yeah. sessions all right and uh, i mean just to just to add to that uh, we will be adding these sessions as a supplementary content into the viva portal also okay so you can access those sessions right from viva portal <clears throat> okay so i'm just i'm just checking if i have you know missed any question in the chat mostly shivani has handled most of them but registered for mat to mentor and yeah so mat to mentor session both mat uh, mat and mat to mentor sessions uh, we will be setting okay so the ta sessions have already been settled 
and they are added to your calendar. The uh, theory mentor sessions are yet to add. We'll add them, and it should be it. It will start by next week. Sir, I actually missed the. Uh, I had to go somewhere. So this uh, question, which uh, Tanish has asked in chat, like, can we use the same backend from Mad One Project and Mad Two Project? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yes. You can use. Okay. You can use that. Approximately, there will be five to seven bootcamp sessions. Okay, five to seven bootcamp session spread across uh, this twenty-one days, so that you get enough time to uh, grasp and implement what you have learned. Right. I think pretty much done. Right. So we are done with uh, uh, pretty much all the questions that have been asked in the chat, and uh, the raise hand also have taken care of. Right. Is there anything else? Any other query? Anybody else? So as soon as the training starts tomorrow, you will send a mail, right? Uh, man, I'm sorry, it was not clear. Can you? Uh, man, the sir, the payment plan which will start from tomorrow. Right. For that also, you will send a mail, right? That. Uh, uh yeah, we'll do. We have to. Yeah. We'll anyway do that, but by, by any reason, if that is missed, you just uh, you know check the pending payment section. It should be available. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Link okay, for bootcamp will be in the chat. Available till when? Payment link for bootcamp. Payment link for bootcamp will be available till tenth of June. Okay. Okay, because we want to finish taking registration for the bootcamp before we start, right? So uh, bootcamp we do not want uh, wildcard entries, right? So it's like when you uh, you will be there in the bootcamp from the beginning until the end. Okay, so tenth of June would be the last date because then we'll have to then allocate mentors also then think about timings and other. I mentioned this. Okay, uh, last time I took bootcamp option and had paid the fee, but could not submit my project. Okay, my concern is uh, that I could not find the recording of the bootcamp. They're showing on it. So yeah, so I think the access was revoked. Uh, you have taken the bootcamp and have worked on it. Then I think uh, that should that is uh, done right. Or if you want another set of sessions, probably you can register again and take the sessions. Okay, I think that is uh, pretty much it. Okay, if there are again more doubts, you can post it, uh, post your queries on Discourse, right? Project for Mad One, Project for Mad Two, and we'll start. Uh, we have started taking queries there also. All right, if anything that is related to project, question statement, orientation, uh, vivas, windows, deadlines, if anything is there, just uh, put it on uh, the Discourse and try to take from there. Okay. Uh, this was a brief understanding that you uh, you know that you needed before you know opting for one to one mentorship and uh, boot camp i hope everything regarding these two things are clear all right and whatever will cover uh, during the mentor will be uh, state i mean beforehand told to you by the mentor right what question statement they will be working on how they are planning the sessions when and where the sessions will happen okay so that entire timetable will be sent to you when the boot camp starts one to one mentors again i mentioned whenever you do the registration and the registration is finalized from our end we'll allot mentors to you in in a time of couple of days okay discourse access not yet given uh, okay okay work you minute okay so for anyone who has joined late and missed uh, this session we will share the recording to you all okay and i will also share the document uh, that i you know did uh, and that i showed when while sharing the screen right so those two things will be shared by us uh, to everyone who was present here obviously to everyone the invitation was sent okay so later on you can watch it and uh, uh, ask your doubts on discourse okay so i think that is pretty much it i'll just stop uh, recording if there are no more queries we'll stop the session